the admission by Nyandara governor and former head of public service Francis Kimemia that indeed a controversial group of powerful individuals informally called the deep state exists and that it has immense influence on presidential elections could depict a different perception of democratic processes. With, while various senior government officials have denied the existence of the deep state, some in the political class have alluded to its unregulated influence, especially in transitional elections. Let's get more from our very own Sam Gituku. I, Uhuru Kenyatta. For a country that has had just four presidents in its 58 years of independence, the democratic transitions in 2002 and 2013 would appear moments of pride for a nation. But the three elections since 2007 have not been without controversy. Nyandaro Governor Francis Kimemia now pointing to an influential hand in the process. Does it exist from your perspective? When you served in that powerful office, what was that? What is that? Of course the state exists. Yes. <laughs> the, 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 the state exists. But I can assure you it could be deeper than deep. <laughs> it could be deeper than deep. And if you have, if, um, uh, I, mean, I mean, honestly, if, if you have two candidates, say, at, uh, at the rate of 50-50, mm -hmm. and the deep state, or, you know, you know backs one, you, know, you can be sure that that one will win the election. Governor Kimemia once served as principal secretary in the internal security docket and later as secretary to the cabinet and head of public service under President Mwai Kibaki and briefly under President Kenyatta. The influence, he says, goes beyond local forces. The candidate must be credible and appointed and electable. And that, that becomes very, very important, even if the deep state were to support a candidate. But we are forgetting also the international angle. Mm -hmm. this, this country has a lot of interest from the international and they also influence a lot. I can assure you from where I sat, they influence a lot. How so? Who, oh, in many ways, many ways that I can't discuss here, but many, many ways. So if they combine with the so-called deep state, you can be sure your goose is cooked. Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho is, however, on record denying the existence of the deep state. Am I looking at the face of the deep state? You know, uh, deep state system, a creation of uh, fertile imagination that nothing just happens. And there is an explanation for that hand all the time that is unseen, that is causing things to happen. And that's how deep state is created. <laughs> In the 2002 general election, then President Daniel Moy handpicked Uhuru Kenyatta for the presidency. He could only manage 31% of the vote, half of Kibaki's record winning vote. Some questioning the power of the deep state then. In 2013, there has been claimed that the deep state was opposed to Kenyatta's ascendancy. In 2013, uh, they gave us hell. Um, and, uh, let me confess, I'm, I'm writing my book, so uh, those guys uh, didn't want that president who had to become a president. And they worked, with, they worked with the foreign powers, remember the story of the choices have consequences. The whole story of ICC uh, was part of the deep state uh, then. Who did they want? Uh, they didn't want Kenyatta. Maybe at one stage they wanted Musalim Davadi. But there is consensus that it's normal for a retiring president to have a preferred candidate. The difficulty being how they communicate their preference to the masses without a repeat of the 2002 mistake. Obviously, uh, the sitting president is also a Kenyan, mm -hmm. and he has, he has also he has, he has his preferences. He would like someone who would like who would continue continue his legacy, not come in and break down whatever he has built on. But who are these people called the deep state, and what's the agenda? Uh, they are they are well connected uh, to state. You'll find them doing a business in the security sector. You'll find them business doing in, in government. And uh, they, also big, they also play a big role in the formation of governments. And if these people are going to, if the, the preferred candidate is going to continue to ensure continuity, either regime continuity or ideological continuity or material, you know, continuity or the status quo, whatever is preferred. Every time the transition, they go into a panic mood. So either they will, because they want to also be in charge of the next government. Mm -hmm. So uh, they choose candidates. How does it work? Well, it works. You know, all I can say is that it works. 
So, so beyond that, of course, it works. I mean, the voters vote. So, you know, you know, deep state also includes people in the in the, in the villages. I mean, <laughs> it goes up to the police station. So, so it, it doesn't mean leaking. It doesn't necessarily mean leaking. Uh -huh. No, but, I mean, influence doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leak. Former Bondo MP Oboru Odinga is on record saying what Raila Odinga has missed over the last three elections was the system. As other presidential aspirants won against state meddling of poll processes. And now we are with Uru Kenyatta, who is holding the system. <laughs> so if the system, plus our votes, which are always more than the others, what else? To Natishiwa at Eco system, at Eco deep state, at Eco Watu at Tuibia Kura, Atamuki, Piga Kura, and Amnagani. Kuna watu wameketi mahali fulani wataamua. Mimi nataka niwaambie hawa watu tunawangojea. Hiyo deep state tunangojea. It is the process of having a free and fair election that will guarantee stability and strengthen the democratic process of this country. Anything outside that is dangerous and should not be entertained. For now, all eyes on the IABC with expectations that the electoral systems will be free, fair and verifiable where all candidates can fairly fight it out. Sam Gitakosirazen TV.